gonna have to talk about this today, but here we go. What's up? It's your girl, Naturally Named, back at it again with another freaking video. Y'all like the hair today? I went like, you know, I don't know. Like, I want to call it schoolgirl kindergarten vibes i don't know like my hair is actually growing high key like i didn't know how to do this y'all but i feel like it's a conversation we need to have we're doing something a little different on this channel we're actually going to be talking about relationship advice or just advice in general if you didn't know now you know i love giving advice or whatever so it's just like i just feel like this is a topic and what i love about my friend group is that we talk about a different span of things like we talk about a lot of different things or whatever and every time like we spark something and then we share some knowledge and i was like you know what i'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to this so let me just speak on it even though y'all probably already know it and i pray to god y'all know it but if y'all don't here we go before we hop into this video you already know the drill i need you guys to like subscribe comment hit that bell up above so you get notified every time i post a new video and we're gonna give you time to do that now okay Are you done? All right, cool. Thank you. It does a lot for me and it does a lot for you guys. And I just love the support or whatever. Any support I can get, I like. So thank you guys for that, y'all real ones. But let's hop into this video. So this video is annoying, but again, I feel like it's very well needed. We're talking about the topic of dudes, but it is related to my females out there along with my men like it's not just for men it's not just for females i think it's for both of you guys because i feel like both of you guys need the knowledge of it full disclaimer anything that i say for girls also applies to men because you already know you're gonna have those dudes out there well women do it too yes we know we're smart we're independent we understand we understand we're not perfect when did i say i was perfect anyways we're not perfect people like women mess up too just as much as men but i just feel like this aspect that i'm speaking on mostly goes for the men in the world because i feel like a lot of men have this mindset i've seen it i've seen different variations of it i've seen it in books movies like real life like i noticed this is a depiction and i hate it with a passion with a passion me and my homies was talking the other day and it came up like the topic of you know first dates and things like that and what it takes to get a woman get a woman the comment that was made was in a form of a question it was more like well i just assumed that you know you do what you can to get the woman but then after that why do i have to continue to try to get her no 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 i hated the question i mean i love that you asked because if you don't know now you know it's a serious question for some of you guys and i don't want to play it like you guys are dumb or you guys are stupid or whatever i understand it's great to ask if you don't know ask never feel like oh let me just assume or whatever assuming is wrong just ask just ask what's gonna happen what is gonna happen but anyways the question was great and in my head i was just like wow like a lot of people have this mindset a lot of people actually think like this like men and there are good men out there not every man thinks like this i'm not saying every man but there are a good amount of men that believe that you do what you need to do and you do above and beyond and you wine and dine and shine for the girl when you need to get her but then once you got her you feel like all that goes out the window what why why like i don't understand that listen to me please I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pediatrician. I'm not Dr. Phil. But I think I got some knowledge. Please stop with that mindset. It's not a good mindset. It's not a healthy one. And I'm pretty sure your woman doesn't appreciate that type of mindset. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Behind every man is a woman. Okay? And it's quotes everywhere in society, on Instagram, Snapchat. Like, it takes a lot. Women you can't exist without a woman you literally come out of a woman's womb so why would you think that the work is done when you just got her like what like i just i just don't get it like guys seriously like yes you should put your best foot forward you should like be there for her or whatever and wine and dine her and all those things whatever you think is necessary to 
get her. But in my head, I'm like, that woman sees the type of man you are and then you win her over being that type of man. What makes you think that when you stop being that type of man, she's still gonna want you? Relationships are literally like a pre-contract of marriage. And don't get scared when I say that. I'm not saying it's marriage, because I understand things don't work out, people change, all those things. But in marriage, two people, you know, get together and they say vows. Their vows, in my understanding, is like a contract. You are standing at the altar telling me all the things that you will do for the rest of our life. I am telling you things that I will do for the rest of our life. That's a contract we're signing together. You even sign actual documentation when you get married. And then you seal it with a kiss. Like, that's how you should be acting. Now, you can't make a vow like that and then two years down the line or a month later, whatever, it doesn't matter the time span, now you're acting like a completely different person because that's not who that woman signed up to be with. She signed up to be with the person who made the vow that they made. It's a contract. Same thing in a relationship. It's an imaginary contract, but it's still a contract. You signed up to be with this girl as this person like that's why i'm saying always be true always be you like never switch up and be something you're not because they're gonna hold you to that standard like you can't say baby i could take care of you i could treat you better and wine and dine you better better than all of these persons i could be your emotional spiritual mental support physical support that you need but then two weeks down the line now you got her now she's like oh this is what I need. I'm going to go with him. But then you get her and you're not doing any of that. Now she's going to look at you like, what happened? What happened? What happened to all of that that you were just saying that you had? You can't just drop that out the window. You're signing a contract, signing the dotted line. I can be these things for you. And then in the relationship, you guys have this thing where you'll take it back it's like backseas or something now you don't want to act like that you guys feel like you can be comfortable i mean yes i feel like you should be comfortable but why does it have to be to a lesser extent of how you're acting why can't you be comfortable doing all the things that you said you wanted to do for that person and it shouldn't be hard because if you say you care for the person you say you love the person then all those things that you wanted to do to impress them should amplify because now you have the person now you have the prize the possession i mean women are not objects i'm not saying that in any given type of form but in your head you won a prize like you got what you wanted she's now yours so what makes you think it took all this to get her but it doesn't take all this to keep her winning her is not just the end goal you have to be able to keep her because she is technically not fully yours she still has her own body she still has her own mind she can still do her like and if she feels like you're not fulfilling your duties as a man to her or if you're not fulfilling what she expected you to be or what you told her you were gonna be then why is it that she has to stay why is it that she has to give you the time of day especially when the same energy is being reciprocated but you can't give it like i would hate if i'm in a relationship and i'm giving you all the energy that you told me you were gonna give me but now i'm giving the energy and you're not giving it to me it's not being reciprocated so why do i want to be around you why do i need you in my life because all you're going to do is bring me down a lot of you guys here's my thing too here's a theory a lot of you guys say women are high maintenance or whatever i know i'm just everywhere follow with me though you guys say that women are high maintenance you guys say that they want too much or their levels are all the way up here but then you guys go to those women and tell them i can give you everything up here those women are like whoa okay so then they're like cool we can be on the same page but then you're like yes i got her and then you just Pew! and then she's just like where he go what he doing it's really like i feel like nine times now yes you do have your women who are crazy you do have your women that ask for too much but realistically not every woman asks for too much not every woman is high maintenance and you don't have to be easy and chill and cool to not be seen as high maintenance like women have standards men should have standards too and again all this stuff i'm saying also can pertain to a man but i notice it's mostly generalized or the most popular gender we're talking about is men doing it to women not saying that's the only way it will happen but i'm just saying in the sense that was the question a man asked why is it that i did all this to get her and i have to continue to do it because it took you that much to get her what makes you think it's not gonna take you even more to keep her. That's why I'm like, you have to be true to yourself. You have to be true to yourself because if you're not true to yourself, you're just gonna fail. 
you're telling her you can be all these things, but slowly but surely, she's going to see through the cracks and see the light. She's going to see who you truly are. And if you're not the person that you claim you were going to be, then you short. You're done. You're over with. And the reason I said this is for men and women is because women have a problem with letting go sometimes. And I want you to understand, listen to me, ladies and men that that go through this situation. If someone claims that they can do things for you, I'm not saying nitpick. I'm not saying observe their every move. I'm not saying do all of that. But don't lower yourself when you see that they're not giving you the same energy. Make it aware. Communicate with them. But don't sit down and do nothing. No. If you see something has changed and you don't like that change, why not want to better it for the sake of your relationship? If you truly want to be with that person, it's not, well, he does this to me. Well, he puts his hands on me now. Well, he told me he was going to do this for me, but now he's not. He told me he was employed, but he's not employed. He told me he would never hurt me, but he hurt me more than once. He told me he was loyal, but he cheats on me every week. Why are you? I understand that there's a big problem with letting go and personally i'm gonna keep my opinions to myself but if you feel like you need to stay in that relationship if you feel like he is the one for you through all he did communicate men and women do not just sit there and deal with it you signed a contract so did he he said he wasn't going to do these things it's imaginary you might not get no money for it but you still signed a contract and he has to live up to that contract that is a conversation you need to have you don't just say oh well things change no he told you he could be these things why is he not being these things he told you he could do better why is he not doing better we're not just gonna sit here ladies and just wait for these men with potential to come along like and it's just hard because my brain is like well this part and this like I can add on and I'm pretty sure when you guys do flood the comments like you guys will tell me little things and I'll be like I agree I agree but it's I'm trying to keep it short and simple what I'm basically saying like and please like be mature understand that like I can't say every single thing I want to say because we'll be here for hours but of course there are men with potential that you care about of course there's men with potential that you want to see something in but if they keep proving you wrong if they keep telling you lies if they're not sticking to that contract that they signed you need to have a conversation not a i know you don't do this no more so okay no that's not a conversation it's not a conversation you need to sit down with them have a open discussion and if he doesn't want to be open with you boo boo that's a sign if he doesn't want to share his feelings with you boo boo that's a sign because the person you met did not act like that the person you met acted a completely different way the person you met said that he was going to be open with you and honest with you and hold you down through every situation is he holding you down sis is he being open with you sis is he being honest with you sis if he can't even have a conversation i'm just saying guys stop with that mindset listen to me Yes, you have to do a lot to get a girl. Maybe you don't. Maybe it takes the bare minimum. But if you honestly care about her, if you honestly want to be with her, if you honestly want to cherish her, then you should be able to do that. Wow, it took me all this to get this girl. I want to show her I could do more for her. She's worthy of this. Because why did you try to do it in the first place? Now, of course, we got our F dudes out there and we got our sideways people out there that y'all just care about that one thing that we're not going to say you do you i just i'm not with it but at the end of the day like i just feel like if you knew what it was going to take to get her and you even wanted to pursue her whether it was a challenge whether you want to see if you could get her why are you not looking at that as wow i got her let me show her how much i can keep her if your heart is genuine how is it that you'll do what you got to do to get the girl and then when you get the girl you start being comfortable you start not caring no more you start drifting away i feel like the cupcake phase i mean it can also apply to women but i feel like and personally what i've seen with a lot of men like friends and stuff it's normally pertaining to the men you guys have that cupcake phase where you're like oh i'll do everything i'll go shopping i'll hold her bags i'll open the door i'll do this i'll hold her hand i'll kiss her neck i'll caress her cheek I'll take her out. I'll do dates every Friday. I'll do the little things. The little things count, guys. The little things count. Everything you do counts, okay? That shows you care, yes. But a lot of you guys will look at us and be like, why do I have to do that? Why can't we just sit here and chill every day? It's not a problem, but why we gotta do it every day? Why is that okay with you? Like, why do you not want to do this for me? Why do you not want to show that you care for me? Because if you were doing it before, what changed? Why is it that you were able to do all these things before, but now you can't do it now? Why is that? 
Where was what happened? Did I do something? Did we do something? Are you not feeling the same? Because there has to be a reason. There's no reason why you're going to switch up like that. Showing me you care. Emotionally protecting me. Spiritually being on my level. And then it just drops. And now you don't want anything to do with it. Now you're acting different. Now you're not living up to that contract that you signed. There has to be a reason. So I want you guys to answer that question. What is the reason? Also, for the dudes to just be like, I care, but I don't have to do those things anymore. Are you serious? <sighs> It's just crazy to me because it's like men, the stereotype of men, not all men, but the stereotype of men is that you guys love cars, right? And it's crazy how you get a car, right? You're so psyched. Oh my God, I got this car. I love this car. You want to keep it clean. Let's say you got a 2019 whatever, Dodge, Charger, Mercedes, Maserati, Corvette, Corvette, whatever. Like, let's say you got your dream car. You bought that car. You earned that car. You won that car. It's your prize. Stay with me. You don't just leave that car in the parking lot. You don't just say, let's just chill every day. You don't just wash that car once and never get it washed again. You don't give that car your last dime. You get that car everything. Things it needs. Your car says it needs this. I'm on it. I'll get it for you. Even things your car doesn't need. Your car don't need tint. Your car don't need those big behind rims that you want to put on it. Your car don't need those spinny rims that you want to put on it. Your tires are fine. Why you want a whole new set of tires? Why you want a whole new paint job? It's just one little scratch. Y'all take pride in it. It's those little things to you. A girl might look at your car and be like, it's a little small scratch. No, babe, I got to get a new paint job. She got to look right. She got to look right, but your girl can't look right. Do you get it? Literally, like... You guys will pay for a car. You guys will drive the car with pride and appreciation. You appreciate it for taking you where you need to go. You appreciate it for how fast it can be for you. You appreciate it for how sleek and nice it looks for you. You wanna show it that you care. Even though it's an inanimate object, you wanna get it a paint job. You wanna make sure it's clean all the time. You wanna make sure it runs good. You wanna make sure it got all the new jewelry and all the new accessory you could probably get for it. For an inanimate object, but you can't do none of those things for your girl. And again, I am not talking to all men, but there are a lot of men like this. You can do all those things for a car, appreciate it, love it, cherish it, caress it, make sure everything, one little crumb of Mickey V's chicken nugget on the floor, you wanna clean the whole thing because you're in your head is like, my baby's not getting dirty. I'm taking care of my baby. I'm making sure my baby is straight. My baby needs money for something. Even if I don't got it, I got it. Because I'm going to make sure my baby is straight. But here, you have a woman, a queen, a creation of God himself. And you treat her like dirt. You don't treat her as good as you treat your car. You do the bare minimum for her. Babe, I need money for this. I don't got it. But you got money for tent and rims? Now, I know people be like gold diggers or whatever, but really think about it. Is she a gold digger or do you just not want to give it to her? Is she really trying to go after your money or is she asking for the bare minimum and you can't even deliver? But you could spend millions of dollars or thousands of dollars on a car that is already perfect, but you just want to make sure it's the freshest on the street. Why you don't want to make sure your girl is the freshest on the street? Why you don't want to make sure your girl stays clean? Why do you want a speck of crumb to get on your girl? Her hair is done. Her nails is done. Her face is done. And I don't mean makeup all the time. Like, you can be natural too, but... Her clothes are fly. If you fly, why you don't want her to be fly? If you're investing in your car, why are you not investing in your girl? I don't know if y'all don't know, but cars deteriorate over time. Eventually, that car is not going to appreciate you as much as you appreciate it. It's going to break on you, and you're going to want to keep giving it money. It's going to die on you, and you're going to want to keep giving it money. But here is a woman who can stay alive, healthy, well, care for you with all her heart be there for all your needs and you're the one killing her now she wants to leave you now she doesn't want to be with you no more and you're just like you don't get it what do you mean what do you mean you don't get it literally like answer me that how is it for a car an inanimate object you guys love it you're gonna cry over your things that I already told you once you buy me i'm gonna break on you 
But here's something that's telling you, I'll be there for you. I will be there through any unemployment you go through, any financial crisis you go through, any heartbreak you go through. I'm here to mend all the broken pieces as long as you do the same for me. That's your contract. And you're telling her no. But here's a card or a piece of jewelry saying, listen to me. You could buy me. You could look at me. You could touch me. And you can make me better than you ever thought you could make me. But, no, I will break on you. I won't stay clean for you. I won't help you in no way. And I will eventually die on you. Or leave you, because I don't care. And for not all my car people, you guys do the same thing with your pets. There are some big grown men who love their little puppy dogs. Or love their little cats. Treat it. Care for it. Feed it. Make sure it looks nice. Even dress it up. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of men who love that. But then you have your girl here. You don't care what she wears anymore. You don't care how she looks anymore. You don't care how the world sees her anymore. You don't care to show her affection and show that you feel that she is attractive. You don't appreciate her for everything she does. And half of y'all don't even know what women do for y'all. Trust and believe. You don't know how much women do for y'all. But it's like y'all don't appreciate her, but you can appreciate something that does not care about you. Your car does not care about you. It don't. What? I'm a girl. Y'all not gonna listen to me. Y'all just gonna do what y'all wanna do. Okay, whatever y'all say, but listen to me. You guys need to stop it. And I don't want you guys to see your car as your woman because they're not the same thing. A woman's worth is way, 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 way more than any car you could ever buy. Any 10 cars you could ever buy. Any 20, 50, 40, 30, a million, a hundred cars that you could ever buy. A woman could never even come close because she's better. She's a queen. She is your pride and joy. She is your prize. Now, listen to me. Listen to me, ladies. Yes, I'm saying all this, but y'all also have to be that pride and joy. Y'all also have to be that prize, okay? And that's why I'm like, I can't go over every little aspect because that's a big debate too. Like, don't be petty. Don't be a gold digger. Don't be asking for something that you don't got no business asking for. But if you're truly there for your man and he's not appreciating you, this goes for you. This goes for you and your man. Because I'm pretty sure you look in that parking lot, he's cherishing his car. He's washing his car right now. He's doing something. Looking at it in the garage, looking for a new paint job, looking for what kind of leather seats he wants, what kind of new floor mats he wants, how to shine it up, what kind of scent he wants in that. Do he want that icy black or do he want to try something new? He gonna take it to a car wash every freaking Sunday. Can he take you on a date every Friday? Hmm. Does he appreciate you every time you drive? Hmm. But I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get into that. Like, know who you got. Men understand what you have. Do not let them feel like they are less than, especially when it comes to an item. No woman should feel like they are less important than a stupid item sitting in the driveway. Nothing that can talk back to you. And I don't wanna hear nothing about navigation and all that stuff talks to you. Your car can't talk. What bothers me is men will be like, I don't know how to do something. Or I've never had to do this before. But you have, you've done it. You've done it in different ways that you might not know of. You care for your car. You care for your family. So you're telling me you don't know how to care for a female? That's the key word, caring. So how is it you can care for a car, but you can't care for your girl? How is it that you can appreciate your pet and you can love your pet and take it on walks and remember it every single day, but you can't remember your girl? And I could go up with examples all day. Men. Black men specifically, y'all love y'all chains. Y'all will do anything for y'all chains. Get them cleaned every week. Get them customized. Make sure the diamonds are real because you don't want no fake foo-foo stuff. Like, you'll get personalized pictures and all that stuff, which is great. You make sure that thing is put up in bed all nice and neat. You got an own cherished box for it. Like, your own personalized little blingy bling stuff. Like, you don't let nobody wear that. Nobody touch it. You want to make sure it looks spick and span all the time. But you can't do that for your girl. She's not just there, okay? And I could be real explicit. Like, a lot of you guys be thinking your cars are your wives, and you guys be thinking that your girls are just a toy that you just use when you need to use it. But we're not going to get into that. I don't like that. I don't like that mindset. I feel like it should change. And to be very honest, let's all be mature here. If you really believe that your car is more special than your female, then you shouldn't have a female. 
I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not trying to. I'm just letting you guys know. Like, please, please listen. I am not a psych. I not yet. I'm studying. But I am not a therapist. I am not any of those things, okay? But I'm just saying, this is an observation I see a lot, and I feel like a lot of people should speak up about it because that's not how it should be, okay? And I'm not talking about my personal life. I'm not saying anything. I'm just speaking in general from what I've seen or what I see other people talk about. Like, you guys really need to understand what has more value than what like oh and i apologize too because i know some girls don't like when i use that word female stop me if i'm wrong comments are open you are free to talk tell me your mind tell me what you think just show appreciation to the things that really matter and that goes for anyone too i know i'm just talking about your girlfriend your wife your significant other right now but it goes for your mom too it goes for your family members like understand how much you have that's not just a price tag understand the things that are priceless and live with those things appreciate them show them you can't just appreciate and not communicate to them you need to communicate to them through words but also through actions you can tell me you love me all day you can tell me you care about me all day again you can tell me all these things when you have me sign this contract but at the end of the day it's the actions that carry it through do you actually show me you love me did you actually keep the promise that you told me you were going to keep? Because if you're not, you're not doing your job, man. You're not. And women, again, I will say this again. I'm not just talking to my men. Women do the same thing. Women are guilty of it too. If you get anything from today, stop looking at the things that do not matter and start paying attention to the things that you should have been paying attention to from the jump. Start keeping your word. Start showing that person why you wanted them in the first place. Reevaluate yourself. Did you really want that person for what you said you wanted them for? Or did you want it for something else? And be real. Because if you wanted them for that something else, maybe you should just take a step back. I feel like I've been talking forever. <laughs> I feel like this is a long video and I apologize. But I had to say it because I just feel like these talks are necessary. And I told you guys, it's naturally nay. I'm not just here to show you products. I'm not just here to like show you things you could buy or just be goofy and fun with you. Like I'm here to be real. I'm naturally nay. I'm here to be natural as possible. Anything y'all have, anything y'all want me to speak on, any advice y'all want to give, anything y'all want me to do, as long, because again, I have limits. As long as it's in my range, I will do it for you. Like I am here to educate, but also just help. I hope I just share some light on an issue or whatever. Comment below if you liked what I said. Comment below if you disliked what I said. Like this video, please. Subscribe anyways, because I would love for my haters or my appreciators to both give me insight on things. I am, I'm not phased. Please like this video, please share it, please comment down below, anything anything y'all want to tell me just comment down below and hit that bell at the top so y'all get notified every time i post a new video as always y'all it's your girl naturally nay remember to go slay and pray and go have a good freaking day all right peace out